Cheers, Doomers. It's Tuesday morning. Quick vlog out on the patio. It's got a treehouse vibe. Um, I was scrolling through the Book of Faces, Doom scrolling, whatever, and I came across this post from Jason Kristoff. This is probably about 20% of the population, maybe a little bit more, who's this much of a smart ass. And they, they really are like wired differently. So the meme is a Simpsons character says, the TV told me that if I eat bugs and enslave myself on behalf of the ruling 1%, that the weather will get gooder. That's what it says. <sighs> the report opens with two claims. First, that the storms, wildfires, droughts, downpours, and floods around the globe in the last 18 months are unique and unprecedented, a dubious claim. And implicitly is now at a point where we can say without doubt that experts can and must model the entire ecology and economy of the planet. So I just want to break this down for a quick second before I talk about something else. Um, I mean, there's so many things that are like a contradiction about this, um, but I'll just start with the obvious. We've been enslaved by the 1% as far as the living memory goes. There was maybe a period in after World War II, uh, actually of World War II, where we actually, there was equality, that we, you could act, move up the, the ladder, you know, actually become an esteemed person, have a, a workplace that you enjoy, uh, have... What I'm saying is we've been screwed out. The middle class and the lower class has been screwed out since the 70s, I would argue, since Reaganomics. So this is just really uninformed um, and stupid, in my opinion. And then uh, the TV told me is clearly a pompous, pious statement saying uh, that this person, Jason, is smarter than everyone else. He knows to look ahead of what the TV people are telling him because he exercises critical thinking and that uh, the TV told us to eat bugs when in reality it's not just going vegan, okay? We have to, we would have, if we wanted to solve the climate crisis, which is not solving biodiversity, which is not solving the, the tipping points, which we've already passed, which is going to send our, our climate system into further disarray, um, we would have to reorganize and redistribute the entire system by which we grow food and distribute locally. From a regional to local, we, we, we would have to get rid of cars, we would have to get rid of everything. So, you know, this is this just keeps going on. It's just like, don't look up in real life. You know, people want to make fun of it. I get it. Uh, I think it's a joke. Um, or they actually do admit that something is wrong. The weather will get gooder. Like, he, he is saying, you know, weather and climate there. Uh, they're two, two separate things. Climate is long-term trends. But yeah, I think it's just fundamentally something why I, I talk about these people often. I don't I don't get their paradigm. I don't understand what where they went to school, what their education level is. Like it doesn't make sense to me that they would jump to a conclusion like this. Um that they think they're better than everyone else. I don't know. There's so many things to like say about it. Okay, so what about the people who don't know? It's always fun sharing this story. I've you know, I live with this information, and I used to do a series telling young people, like I would t say, uh, telling young people the truth. And the best way to do it right is to sit down with them and actually, like, uh, you know, address them, talk to them like a like a person, not not uh, you're being ruled by the one percent, and you know, not above or below them. Just be real upfront and direct with them. Tell them the truth. Um, because it helps reorganize their life, and I'll give an example. So the nephew, he's just subscribed, I hope maybe he watches this video, probably don't. I'm just a rambling doomer. The nephew of the owner of this property who rents this place out. And you know when things are going right, when you wish something and it happens? Like, because uh, I was just sitting here like, damn, I don't, I don't know where my lighter is. I lost it. I left it at my friend's house, I know I did. And... I was just sitting here yesterday, and I was like, man, what am I going to do? I guess I got matches. And so I found some matches, and then sure enough, he walks around the corner and is like, yo, what's up? I smell it. Can I can I hit that? And so we started getting to talking, finding about his story, and what he has going on is something to do with the uh, 
the judicial system, the law. Okay, I, I'm not going to go any detail. Let's just say he's from Little Rock. Uh, he's up here. He's got some things going on in the court soon, and not sure of the outcome of this. You know, that's a that's a precarious place to be in. I'm aware. I've I've been there many times. Not quite to the law level, but close. Um. He said, uh, "Yeah, you know, this could happen, and I could." go in for this amount of time and and I was like well we don't have much time left and he's like what you saying I was like you want to see a you want to see a graph you want to see a chart <laughs> and I just laid it on him you know gave him the whole hour-long lecture of the, all the, the tipping points the climate feedback you know system the global average temperature, what we've done, the psychology behind it, greed, and all of it was clicking to him. And that's that's the point I wanted to make is like, there's different people, like you can't share it to people who are so brainwashed that they, by their own ego and status, uh, that they'll just, they'll contradict it and try to point out, you know, how stupid everyone else is, like that point is. But people, and th those are their own sex spectrum of people. And you have like the soft deniers and the people who are um, even angry when you tell them and you know anger but people who are situationally aware and this this individual was very situationally aware you know what I'm saying like that's the world that they operated in I'm not gonna go into detail but when you tell them this information man it it hits them to the gut they, they connect the dots they really get it like oh shit we're doomed what? you know that same realization that we had and you know having to repeat this information on my channel, I try to keep things light and, and fluffy, like marshmallows, and live in gallows humor, but when you have to repeat this information to someone new, you have to sort of go through it too, to, you know, otherwise you don't have, if you don't, if you say it with no weight, then it doesn't, you don't really have an impact. So, a few points, he was like, doing this, I'm not sure if he was starting to tear up or, you know, what, or he had allergies or something, but it was, it was clearly getting through to him that, uh, our time is nigh. He said in return, after all that, he said, Wow, well, you're literally going down in history. <laughs> Something I'm proud of, okay? Well, I'm going to get the day going. Um, just wanted to check in and give you guys a little quick story there. Stupid people are everywhere. And people who are situationally aware, along with artists and uh, creative thinkers, they get this. Like, it clicks to them. Not surprisingly. Alright? Stay strapped. Stay strong. Talk to you later, Doomers. Peace. The global economy, let alone the environment, is simply too complex to model. It is for this reason, fundamentally, that we have and require a free market system. The free market is the best model of the environment we can generate. <laughs>